Your cauliflower rice probably sucks and it's probably your fault, but wait, don't leave yet. We're gonna show you how to fix it coming up. You know, back when I was 262 pounds, I could probably count on my hand the number of times I had cauliflower in a year. And now since we've been on keto for two years and lost like 160 pounds together, I eat cauliflower probably every other day in some form or another. And you know, I really didn't understand that you need to finesse cauliflower in order to make it what you want it to be. But with that little bit of effort, you can make something so beautiful and fluffy and delicious you just have to give it a shot you just have to put a little bit more effort into it and I know I know keto is hard already and we have to go out of our way to avoid carbs but that's just the way life is when I'm scrolling through the internet and I see a cauliflower rice recipe I like to check the comments so that I can get triggered because it's usually people saying I hate cauliflower rice it tastes awful it's disgusting it'll never live up to rice in any way and the truth is if you're making cauliflower rice like I've seen it made from some people where you buy it frozen in a bag which there's no problem with that but then you throw it in a microwave and you microwave it for six seconds and then you pour it in a bowl and then you eat it of course it's going to be terrible I'm here to tell you the cauliflower rice can be awesome if you use something called the dry cook method and that is what we're going to show you today Sarah and I have been perfecting this method over the last two years and let me tell you that nothing is going to taste exactly like rice but cauliflower will taste 80% like rice and you know what it's all we have so first off you can grab Grate your own cauliflower, which is time consuming, messy, and I just don't do it anymore. Or you can buy cauliflower. This is a cauliflower from Whole Foods. It is $1.99 a bag on Amazon. It's the best price that I've found for cauliflower rice on the internet or even in a store. Sometimes they're charging like $4.50 for 10 ounces. The other reason why I like this cauliflower rice, it's very like uniform. It's not like big and small pieces. It all is the same. So you take it out of your freezer with love. Put it in the microwave like that. You cook it for six minutes. It might be a little less if your microwave is really strong. It will look like it's going to explode. So our cauliflower rice has been cooking for six minutes on high. And if you're adding it to something like soup, then it stops here. Just add it to your soup. It's fine. Cut the bag open and drop it in your soup because it doesn't matter. But if you're going to be serving cauliflower rice as a main component of a dish, you need to go now to step number two, which is to put the cauliflower rice in a pan on low to medium heat. Now there's no oil in this pan or butter or anything. This is just a kind of hot, medium hot pan. And you're going to start cooking the cauliflower rice again to dry it out. You want all of this water to be gone. You see that? This is gonna take a while. The thing with cauliflower is that it tastes like cauliflower until you cook it and you cook it. The longer that you cook cauliflower, the drier it gets and the more water is evaporated from it, the less it's going to taste like cauliflower. And so that's when you add in all of your spices. We're gonna be making a Spanish inspired cauli rice with tomato paste and chicken stock and onion and green onion and garlic and it's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna serve that with tacos later. So Emily, while that's cooking down, um, can you give us some examples of the different types of cauliflower rice that you make at home? Sure. You know, I just tend to kind of throw things together. I, I know that that sounds crazy to just throw things together, but like if you're serving something like butter chicken, what I like to do is I like to add butter and garlic and salt, ginger, and some maybe some lime juice into the cauliflower rice to give it that, you know, Indian vibe to it. Or if you're serving tacos, you can serve it with lime juice and cilantro or onion and lime juice if you don't like cilantro. Um, there's so many different applications to it. You can use this method to cook a risotto too. What you do is you add a uh, heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, mushrooms, garlic. You can even add a little bit of xanthan gum in there, some Parmesan cheese, and you mix it slowly all together. And you add that liquid back into it with a little bit of chicken stock, and it makes an amazing risotto. Some of the ways that I cook cauliflower rice at home is by adding different spices. Like I just bought this one off Amazon. It's a paella saffron inspired spice packet. And later on in the week, making some paella with it. I've never made it before, but I'm assuming that it's gonna taste good. You can also make cauliflower rice pudding. I know it sounds weird, but we've added it to like sugar-free jello with some heavy whipping cream, vanilla, and it tasted actually pretty good in my opinion. I don't think it tasted like cauliflower at all. So there are so many ways that you can utilize cauliflower in your ketogenic lifestyle if you're just open to it. Pretty much what you're using cauliflower for is a vehicle to hold all of your spices and the flavors that you actually want to eat. So we've been stirring this for about five minutes. It still has moisture in it. Cauliflower is like 90% water, seriously. So it's gonna take some time to evaporate all of those juices, but that juice is what makes it taste like cauliflower. So you wanna get it as dry as possible without burning it. We're gonna be making a Spanish inspired cauliflower rice. So I'm gonna be adding in some butter and some onion to get that sauteing. 
It's starting to smell really good already. I don't even smell cauliflower anymore. It's replaced with that onion and butter smell, which is gonna be absorbing into that rice. I have here some better than bouillon chicken paste in here. Just a couple tablespoons of water in here to make a slurry. We're gonna be adding this in and mixing it up. We're gonna mix to combine this and keep stirring it, evaporating more of that moisture, and then we're gonna finish it off. Makes me wanna have a margarita. So I'm gonna finish it off with spices, including garlic powder and cumin. Okay, and we're gonna add in some green onion. That's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna plate it up and try it. So I haven't had Sarah's mashed rice in a long time and I'm excited to try it. Mm. I can't tell the difference. I mean, maybe it's been so long since I've had real rice, but it is so good, you have to try it. Open up your mind to the power of cauliflower rice. Give it another go, put some effort into it. I'm telling you, you are going to love the results. Use the dry cook method, tag us if you try it, and let us know how it goes at It's the Keto Twins. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm so more people will see our videos. And if you'd like to see a video where we make cauliflower rice pudding, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily from the Keto Twins, signing out. It is really good. It's delicious, Sarah. Thanks.